Hello guys, this is CE Box Tutorial Channel and this is our problem number one for Moment Area Theorems. But before we start, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So for the cantilevered beam, determine the slope and deflection at point C, where E is equivalent to 200 gigapascal and I is equivalent to 150 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. And so given is cantilevered, then uh, sa point C, meron tayong point load na 28 kN. So gaya nga na sinabi natin sa introduction ng moment area theorems, uh, mamimili ka okay, ng points sa ating beam kung saan ka magmo-moment. So pakita mo na natin lahat ng mga um, forces dito sa ating cantilevered beam. Siyempre, we have reaction here sa A. Okay, AV and of course AH but we all know na yung ating AH is equivalent to zero since wala naman tayong applied load na horizontal para i-resist ng AH. Then we have moment at A. Now, pili tayo ng points or point. Kapag nag-moment tayo sa point C, ang mag-moment dyan is yung AV and MA. So therefore, mayroon tayong dalawang uh, area para sa ating M over EI diagram. And, medyo marami-marami siya, hindi ba? So, iwasin natin. Punta naman tayo ng point B. Pag nag-moment tayo sa point B, iikot yung 28 kN, then yung AV and MA. Ah yes, kapag nag-moment tayo sa isang point kasi, lahat ng sides mag-moment. No? Kasi di ba dun sa shear and moment at a specific point, pumipili lamang tayo ng side. It's either sa left side or sa right side nung point na yun. Pero dito sa moment area theorems, gamit ang moment by parts, uh, pag nag uh, moment tayo sa point na yun, parehas, sabay siya, left and right side. So dito, iikot yung 28 kN, then yung AV, ay yung MA and yung AV. So, tatlo yung ating magiging drawing sa ating M over EI diagram. So, marami yun. So, kapag naman nag-moment tayo sa A, ang mag-moment lang sa kanya is yung 28 kN. Then, zero moment effect yung AV. Then, yung ating MA, dito lang siya iikot. Diba? So, ibig sabihin, mas maganda na umikot tayo or mag-moment sa point A. Yun. Isa yun sa mga diskarte sa ating moment area theorem. Pipili pa tayo ng point na kung saan maunti lang talaga yung mga forces na iikot. So dito, ito yung ating beam. Then sa ang side, iikot ng 28 kN. Paganto, hindi ba? Sa negative side. And this is what? Point load. Therefore, uh, ang makukuha natin na moment diagram is first degree. Yan. So, ito yung ating M over EI diagram. Then, ano yung kanyang ano? Uh, height dito? That is 28 multiplied by 3 plus 1. That's 4. So, 112. So, since nasa negative side siya, ibig sabihin magiging negative 112 over EI yung ating M over EI diagram dito. Then, syempre, take note, ha, ang unit niya is what? Kilonewton and meter. Diba? So, ibig sabihin, this is 112. Okay? Uh, yes, this is 112 kilonewton meter over EI. Yan yung ating M over EI diagram. Okay? So, ang pinapakuha rito is slope and deflection at point C. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan natin madrawing yung elastic curve ng ating beam. So, as we can see here, cantilevered beam niya naka-overhang. Then, ito yung ating load, papaba. Yung ating drawing ng elastic curve is pa ganito. Yan. So, dapat madrawing natin dito kung paano yung tangent line, di ba? Kasi required sa atin na ma-drawing ang elastic curve. Then, mapakita natin yung mga tangent line para makita natin or malaman natin kung paano natin masasolve yung slope and deflection. So, paano natin makukuha yun? So, kung naalala ninyo, sa ating introduction sa deflection, 
punta lamang kayo sa aming channel. Then, punta kayo rito sa playlist na Mechanics of Deformable Bodies. Under saan? Under sa ito. Okay? Ayan yung ating playlist. Ayan. Then, punta kayo sa uh, Strength of Materials, Chapter 6, Beam Deflection. Ito siya. Then, puntahan nyo to. Ayan. Yung introduction ng deflection na kung saan diniscuss namin rito yung uh, yung ating slope and deflection at any support. So, nakalagay rito, uh, roller, pin, and fix. Ayan. So, as we can see here, ang sabi rito, yung ating deflection is equivalent to zero and yung ating slope is equivalent to zero. Therefore, yung ating tangent line sa ating support is horizontal. Ayan. So, drawing natin. Ang ating palang tangent line at point A, since it is a fixed support, is horizontal. And then, ito yung ating point C sa elastic curve. Ito naman yung kanyang tangent line. Okay? Siyempre, um, alam natin na ang ating horizontal axis is pag ganito, hindi ba? Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung tinutukoy na theta C kasi with respect to x-axis. Eh, yung ating tangent line is also horizontal. Therefore, yung ating uh, theta C is equivalent to what? The slope, okay, or an angle between tangent C with respect to tangent A. So, familiar, hindi ba? Ibig sabihin, magamit natin ang theorem 1 dito sa moment area theorem. So, yan. Yung ating slope, okay, with respect to two tangents. Yeah, ganoon na pala siya kasimple, di ba? So, for number 1, ang ating slope at C is equivalent pala sa ating slope of tangent C with respect to tangent A. So, this is equivalent to M over EI multiplied by DX from what point? From point C to point A. So, ano nga ulit yung ating M over EI? Dx, this is area, di ba? Area raw ng ating M over EI diagram sa dalawang points ng C to A. So, ito. So, this is what? This is just a triangle. So, this is equivalent to negative. One half, but negative. Kasi nasa negative sign yung ating uh, M over EI diagram. Then, multiplied by 112. So, this is kilonewton meter. Then, multiplied by what? 4 meters. Then, multiplied by 1 over E. Ay. So, anong ating theta C? So, mas madali siguro yung ating mga 1 half, uh, parang 0.5 na lang, para mas madali siya i-type sa calculator. Then, multiplied by 112, multiplied by 4. So, this is negative 224, negative 224 kilo newton Meter what? Meter squared over EI. Yan. So, ano ba ang ating ano? E, 200 gigapascal. So, take note, 1 gigapascal is equivalent to 1,000 megapascal. And 1 megapascal is equivalent to 1 newton per millimeter squared. So, equivalent lang yan. So, ibig sabihin ng ating 1 Nm is equivalent to 1,000 Newton per millimeter squared. So, ang 1,000 natin, convert na lang natin ng, ano, ng times 10 raised to 3. So, this is what? Uh, 2 to 4. Kasi di ba ang ano, one, uh, yes, 200 gigapascal. No? So, therefore, this is 200 times 10 raised to 3. Then, Newton per millimeter squared. Then, ang ating I is 150 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. So, bakit inuna ko yung E and I? Para malaman natin kung ano ang dapat nating unit sa taas. Ito. So, nakalagay kilonewton, no? So, ang kilonewton to newton is, sige, lagay na rin natin dito. 1 kilonewton is equivalent to 1,000 newton. And syempre, 1 meter is equivalent to 1,000 millimeter. Dapat kasi consistent yung ating unit. 
So, dapat makonvert natin yung ating uh, kilo newton meter squared into newton millimeter squared. So, that is 1,000, no? Kilo newton to newton. Then, millimeter, uh, meter squared to millimeter squared. That is 1,000 squared. So, ilan to? This is times 10 raised to 9. So, times 10 raised to 9. And this is newton millimeter squared. So, ganun lang naman kasimple ang pag-convert ng mga unit dito. Then, as we can see, maka-cancel out natin yung ating millimeter dito. Ayan, so magiging millimeter squared. Then, cancel out ang millimeter squared. So, ayan. Okay, so cancel na tayo. Then, cancel din yung newton. Ang matitira is radians. Radians kasi ang unit ng ating uh, slope dito sa ating uh, beam deflection. So, therefore, ang ating theta C is equivalent to negative 2 to 4 times 10 raised to 9 over 200 times 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 150 times 10 raised to 6. So, this is negative 0 0.0075. And this is regions. So, kung gusto natin i-convert into angle, pwede rin naman. Ang gagawin lang naman natin is i-multiply natin 180 over pi. So, negative 0. 0.428. Ah, yes. Angle pala ito. Sorry. Degrees. So, parehas lang yan na tama. And, kung naalala ninyo sa introduction, sabi natin ron, Kung ano yung ano, mas maraming uh, area dito sa ating M over EI diagram, yun yung magiging sign ng ating mga sagot. So, since negative lang naman yun nandito sa M over EI diagram, negative yung makukuha natin na slope. And syempre, sigurado, pati yung ating deflection, negative 10. So, number 2, deflection, no? So, YC. Yan. So, nasa ba ang deflection natin? Hindi pa nandito. Okay, this is elastic curve. Then, with respect to x-axis, ayan. Ito yung ating yc. Pero, ano rin ang napapansin natin dito? Ah, uh, okay. This is point c sa ating elastic curve. Then, tinugma natin or tumama sa ating tangent a. Hindi ba? So, therefore, ang ating yc is equivalent to our stand, uh, ano, uh, vertical deviation of point C in the elastic curve with respect to tangent at A. So, this is under sa theorem number 2. Ayan. So, ang dali lang palang gamitin, no? Ayan. So, this is vertical deviation of point C in the elastic curve with respect to point A, uh, sorry, with respect to tangent at A. So, this is equivalent to M over EI dx multiplied by x bar. So, dito, since sa point C yung ating deflection na hinahanap, ang ating x bar is with respect to that point. Yan. Then, from, ano? From what point? From point C to point A. So, walang tayong problema rito. Kasi nakuha na natin itong sagot na ito, di ba? This is 2, 2, 4. Ayan, no? M over EI diagram. Ay, sorry. M over EI dx from point C to point A. Ang kailangan na lang natin alamin is yung x bar, t. So, nasa nga ba yung centroids nito? Andito. Then, from point C. Yan. So, this is our x bar, c. Which is what? Two-thirds of? Two-thirds of its length. So, lagay na lang natin dito. Ang ating x bar, c, is equivalent to two-thirds of uh, four. Yeah. Or pwede rin naman, di ba, ang nakalagay sa ating introduction with respect to height, di ba? That is one-third of its L. Okay lang din naman yun. One-third of, ano lang yun, ah, or four minus one-third of four lang yun. Yan. Yeah. So, para mas madali, two-thirds na nga naman. Alam naman natin na one minus one-third is two-thirds. So, two over three multiplied by four is eight over three. So, two point six six seven. 2.667 meters. So, this is negative 2, 2, 4. And this is kilonewton meter squared. Hindi ba? Ito, kilonewton meter squared. Then, over EI 
multiplied by 2.667 meters. So, ang ating YC is equivalent to negative 224 times 2.667. So, negative 597.408. Negative 597.408. And this is kilo newton meter cube. Kasi dalawa na yung ano, no? Ito, meter squared then meter. So, meter cube. Then over EA. So, this is negative 597.408. Then times 10 raised to what? Kasi, ito. May ano tayo, kilo newton, then millimeter cube na siya. So, dapat ito ay uh, cube na. So, this is times 10 raised to 12. And this is newton millimeter cube. Then over 200 newton, ah, sorry, 200 times 10 raised to 3 newton per millimeter squared multiplied by 150 times 10 raised to 6 millimeter to the fourth. Yan. Okay, so cancel yung newton, cancel din to. Millimeter squared, no? Then, may matitirang isang millimeter, which is the unit of deflection. So, ito yung ating YC. Gamitin na lang natin to, yung sa history ng ating calculation. Ayan. Papalta lang natin to, di ba? So, this is 597.408 times 10 raised to 12. So, this is negative 19.914. Uh, millimeters. Ayan. So, yun nga. Negative yung naging sagot natin kasi negative yung ating M over EI diagram. Ngayon, uh, sir, di ba sabi nyo medyo may complication and medyo mahirap ang paggamit ng moment error theorems? Eh, but dito, sir, andali lang pala. Direct lang pala yung ginagamit natin ano, uh, formula para makuha yung slope and deflection natin. Ulitin natin ang concept ng slope. Ang slope and, de uh, slope and deflection, uh, yung ating slope and deflection is dapat with respect to x-axis. Nagkataon lamang na madali yung ating solution sa ating problem number one kasi ang given ay cantilever na kung saan ang ating uh, tangent line doon sa ating support sa fix is horizontal din. Diba? Imagine, kung hindi horizontal yung ating tangent at A. Okay? I, I mean, yes, hindi horizontal yung ating tangent at A. Sabi natin, ang tangent at A natin is ganyan. Ibig sabihin, kapag in natin yung tangent line natin dito sa C, ano makukuha natin at ano? Theta. Ito. This is our theta C with respect to tangent at A. Which is not. Or which is what? Which is not uh, with respect, which is an angle that is not with respect to x-axis. So, this is not equal to our theta c. Diba? So, dyan napapasok yung ano, uh, iba pang diskarte para masolve yung ating theta c. Nagkataon lang na madali ito. Kaya ano pa ba yung ano? Tingnan natin dito ba? Ito. Kung may tanin nyo, yung ating tangent dito sa ating support sa roller is hindi horizontal. Diba? Hindi siya horizontal. So, may hihirapan tayo na mag-solve ng ating slope at a specific point. Okay? But anyway, if ipapasolve naman sa atin dito yung, ano, yung ating slope and deflection sa B, yan sa point B, drawing lang ulit natin yung, siguro ibang kulay na lang, drawing lang ulit natin yung tangent line niya. Yan. So, this is our tangent B. Then, ito yung kanyang ano, slope, di ba? Which is what? An angle between tangent B and tangent A. So, this is also equivalent ulit sa uh, slope of tangent B with respect to tangent A. Then, kapag gusto natin isolve naman yung kanya uh, deflection, ito rin yan. Ayan. Which is equivalent to uh, vertical division of point B in the elastic curve with respect to tangent at B. Pero, okay, tingnan natin ha. Sabi kasi dito, uh, with respect to point B and A, no? Yung maging area niya ngayon is ito. Ayan. Yung maging area niya is ito na. 
which is trapezoids. So, pag trapezoids, mas, ano, mas maganda na hati nyo na lamang sa dalawang area. Isang rectangle and isang triangle. So, ano gagawin dyan? Kasi di natin alam yung value na to, di ba? Ito. Ang gagawin nyo lang naman is magre-ratio proportion. Okay? Kunin nyo to by similar triangle. So, ito isang triangle, then ito isang maliit na triangle. So, sige, pwede rin naman natin kunin, no? So, this is what? 112 over... Uh, ano yun? 4 meters, no? Ayan. Then, equivalent to x. Then, over 1 meter. Ayan. So, this is negative 28. And, syempre, over ei pa rin yan. Ayan. So, makukuha na natin yung dalawang area. Tapos, uh, makukuha na natin slope at b. Then, paano naman yung deflection at b? Uh, syempre, hati yan sa dalawang area, di ba? Ayan. Isang, ano? Uh, wait lang ha. Itaas natin ito ng konti para hindi siya nabubura. Ayan. Siyempre, hati yan sa dalawang ano yan, area. Isang rectangle and isang triangle. Nasaan yung mga ano nila? Uh, with respect to point B kasi, so ito yung X bar B natin. Ito para sa rectangle. Let's say this is X bar 1. Then ito naman para sa triangle. So, let's say x bar 2. Yun yung reason kung bakit sa area ng trapezoid pa lang, hinahati na natin yung kanyang area. Isang rectangle and isang triangle. Kasi pagdating natin sa deflection, ayan, magkaiba kasi yung kanilang x bar. Diba? Kaya, mas magandang hati na kagad. Para at least yung nasolve natin na m over ei multiplied by dx sa ating slope, is magamit ulit natin pagpunta natin sa deflection. Okay? So, ayan. Um, mag, ano, uh, dun sa ibang problem, hindi na siya deliver So, asahin ninyo na hindi na basta-basta yung pag natin ng tate, uh, tower slope and deflection at specific point. So, we hope na marami kayo naitindihan dito sa ating problem number 1 under sa moment area theorems ng Strength of Materials chapter 6. So, if you enjoyed and learned, from this video tutorial, please subscribe to CE Box Tutorial channel and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye guys.